Hello, and welcome to the review of the circulatory system. Uh, the picture on the screen is the heart. It's an anterior view, which means the heart is though you were looking at someone else. So this right here, which is on the left of the page, is the right side of the heart. Over here on the right side of the page is actually the left side of the heart. At this point, please go ahead and see if you can fill in the pieces. Pause the screen and see what you can do. All right. Now, if you do not remember the parts of the heart, here they are. Seeing the parts, see if you can fill in the pieces if you have not already done so. Please pause the screen. All right, at this point, let's go ahead and go through the portions of the heart. If you filled out these parts already, this will allow you to check your answers. If you were not able to, this will now act as a good review. For the parts of the heart, we need to go in order. And we'll go in order from the way that blood returns from the body. When blood returns from the body, it returns through the very large vena cava. There are actually two parts. This is the superior vena cava right here, which I will denote as A for the vena cava. The lower portion is referred to as the inferior vena cava. Both return blood from the body. This blood is low in oxygen and high in carbon dioxide. The vena cava has its blood enter into this upper chamber here. This upper chamber is the right atrium. The easy way to remember are the atriums are in the upper portion because A comes before B in the alphabet. The atrium is going to empty into then the right ventricle. The right ventricle will push this deoxygenated or low oxygen blood into the lungs. It does so through this pathway. Because this leaves the heart, it is called an artery, although this is the only artery that has low oxygen blood. It goes to the lungs, and so this is going to be a pulmonary artery which I will denote with the letter D. And so these will go off to the lungs. Then at the lungs, these will actually meet up with capillaries of the alveoli and exchange this old carbon dioxide for fresh oxygen from the outside. I will switch colors to show that this blood is fresh in oxygen. The blood returning to the heart then returns through the pulmonary vein. Blood always returns to the heart by veins. The pulmonary vein is the one vein that has to have high oxygen as it returns from the lungs. The pulmonary vein is going to empty into the left ventricle. The left ventricle will then push this blood down into uh, the left atrium. The left atrium will push this blood down into the left ventricle. And the left ventricle is the part that will actually pump your blood all the way up through the last portion into the remainder of your body. So this will pump it all the way up into this region here that I will star called the aorta. And the aorta is the main artery that leaves the heart and then sending fresh blood to the remainder of your body, where it will leave your cells and exchanges oxygen for carbon dioxide. And that is the circulatory system regarding the heart.